Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. After Trump signs EO halting family separations, American Airlines stuck it to him. Where's the outrage? And just like that, the airline industry's heart grew three sizes that day. Today American Airlines asked the federal government not to use its airplanes to transfer children who were separated from their families at the U.S.-Mexico border. In the statement, the airlines said the zero-tolerance policy which has been implemented on the border since the 90s doesn't align with the so-called company values. They went on to confirm that the airline has requested the federal government immediately stop using American for the purpose of transporting children who have been separated from their families because said families decided to break the law by coming into this nation illegally. We have no desire to be associated with separating families, or worse, to profit from it. We have every expectation the government will comply with our request and we thank them for doing so," said a spokesperson for the airline. But what's even stranger in this whole press release is that when asked the spokesperson for American Airlines said it is not currently aware of the government using the airline to transfer children who are removed from their families, but it would be extremely disappointed if officials were doing so. What? Here is more on this saga via The Hill. American Airlines on Wednesday asked the federal government not to use its planes to transfer migrant children separated from their families at the United States' southern border. In a statement, American said the zero-tolerance policy currently being implemented at the border is not at all aligned with the company's values. We have therefore requested the federal government to immediately refrain from using American for the purpose of transporting children who have been separated from their families due to the current immigration policy, the statement read. We have no desire to be associated with separating families, or worse, to profit from it. We have every expectation the government will comply with our request and we thank them for doing so. American said it is not currently aware of the government using the airline to transfer children who are removed from their families, but it would be extremely disappointed if officials were doing so. The Department of Homeland Security in a statement said it's unfortunate that airlines such as American and United no longer want to partner with the brave men and women of DHS to protect the traveling public and accuse the carriers of buckling to a false media narrative. Despite being provided facts on this issue, these airlines clearly do not understand our immigration laws and the long-standing devastating loopholes that have caused the crisis at our southern border, said Press Secretary Tyler Q. Holton. We wish the airlines would instead choose to be part of the solution. For 15 years, the Department of Homeland Security has worked diligently with America's airlines to secure aviation and facilitate the travel by air of millions of Americans and visitors and we will continue to do so," Holton added. The airline's stance comes as the Trump administration continues to face the fallout from its border policy, which Attorney General Jeff Sessions unveiled in April. Sessions had instructed the Justice Department to prioritize the criminal prosecution of individuals attempting to unlawfully cross the U.S.-Mexico border. That directive has led to the separation of children from their families at the border, with the Associated Press reporting last week that approximately 2,000 children were removed from their families in recent weeks. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle in the House and Senate have condemned the separations and expressed support for legislation that would end them. The lower chamber is slated to take up two pieces of immigration legislation on Thursday. President Trump, who said Tuesday he supports the House GOP efforts on immigration 1,000%, on Wednesday said he will sign something to end the separations. I'll be signing something in a little while that's going to do that, the president said at the White House. I'll be doing something that's somewhat preemptive and ultimately will be matched by legislation I'm sure. The Department of Homeland Security wasting no time in releasing a statement of its own in response to American Airlines saying it's unfortunate that airlines such as American and United no longer want to partner with the brave men and women of DHS to protect the traveling public and accuse the carriers of buckling to a false media narrative. Now, why does an industry as badly tarnished as the American airline industry go out of their way to make a political statement without even knowing if they are even being used by the feds to transport illegal alien children? Could it be because since they are one of the most hated industries in the nation they are just trying to get some positive publicity at the expense of the security of the law-abiding American citizen? No. That can't be, or can it? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.